Hi, Bill Evans. I'm back from Christmas break and starting my 40, 43rd fun-filled year of being a family law attorney. Um, I don't know is whether it's because I watched the Scrooge movie several times over the holidays or if I just woke up, unfortunately, in kind of a pessimistic mood this morning. But the topic on my last blog and this blog are what you do if your spouse decides to withdraw all or a large portion of funds in an account in which there is a community property ownership interest. Remember, all money earned by either or both spouses during marriage is community property. This blog addresses a, a more common and everyday issue is joint bank accounts. Let's suppose that you and your spouse have a joint bank account and all the money came from money which was earned by either or both of you and deposited into that account during marriage. Well, it's all community property. Because it's a joint account and your names are both on the account, the bank doesn't care if you withdraw the money or your spouse withdraws the money. And if your spouse taps the till, the innocent spouse is out of luck because the other got to the bank first. What do you do? Well. The only recourse you have in that situation is ask the court to employ a date of separation, a date of separation valuation date to that account, meaning if at the time the divorce started, or even if your spouse took the money immediately before the petition for dissolution was filed, ask that the value of that account be um, established using your requested alternate valuation date, meaning immediately before the other spouse hit the tilt. In that way, the full amount of the money in the account is still deemed the community asset to which you're entitled to half. If it's gone, then the half that belongs to you and the half that was inappropriately taken by your spouse would be subject to recapture assuming there are other items on the marital balance sheet such as home equity, other investment accounts, anything of that nature to make up the loss. It's a very dicey proposition if you are approaching a divorce situation or if there are problems on the horizon to maintain large amounts in a joint bank account. If you are approaching or believe you are approaching a divorce situation, I would recommend as some pre-divorce planning taking one half of the funds out of the account, opening an account in your name, tell your spouse you did that because you think there are marital difficulties and that way 50% of the money is in the original account, 50% is in yours, and he's welcome to take the other 50% or she and put in her own account. If you do the division in advance while the money is still there and available, then you're in good shape. The same holds true if you have some money that was your separate earnings or obtained by an inheritance before you got married, which got tossed into a joint account. There is a presumption that money in a commingled account is all community money. So you must be careful if you want to recapture whatever amount of that total value was your separate property through inheritance or pre-marriage earnings to make sure you keep careful records when you put the money into an account with the name of your um, spouse. If you can show, for example, that you inherited $50,000 from Dear Aunt Bernice and that money went into the joint account, then that 50 comes back off the top to you before the remaining part, which would be community property, would be equally divided. So record keeping is the key if you're trying to preserve a community asset. The third situation you need to check with a good a, a divorce lawyer is if some of the money came out of a joint account just after separation or when the divorce petition was filed, if the spouse claims it was used to serve community property purposes such as paying joint debts, you have to be careful that your attorney demands the receipts and proof of payment of the debts to make sure that the money was applied for a community purpose rather than a great weekend in Las Vegas. That is known as putting the burden of proof, uh, production of the documents and the proof that the community funds claim to have been later used for a community joint purpose 
were in fact so used. So those are my tips in terms of as best we can keeping the assets preserved while you go through the dissolution process. Thank you.